Good evening, everyone. The Michigan Tech women's basketball team is in a dogfight to try and get a first round berth in the GLIAC postseason tournament, at least in terms of home court. The Huskies were in action tonight at home against Northwood. And it was breast cancer awareness night, so the pink warm ups. In the third quarter, Elizabeth Kelleher, the drive, the lefty layup, and the Huskies were up by a dozen of 43 31. Big, big night for Kylie Moxley because everything she put up almost went in. In fact, she set a record for most main field goals in a game by a Husky. In the fourth, more Moxley, naturally. She ended up with 34 on the night as Northwood just didn't have anybody to contain her. Then Mackenzie Pertu would find Danny Blake on the baseline drive. Blake had eight points, seven rebounds, and seven blocks. Huskies go on to win this one 69-60. to Meanwhile, in Marquette, former Wildcat assistant Kristen Rogers in her first year as head coach of Lake Superior State, taking on the Wildcats, Marie Gasparovich to Taylor Hodell. The jumper gets a kinder bounce than I thought it would. Hodell led all scores with 18. Darby Youngstrom, a fast break. The Marie Gasparovich for the hoop and the harm. Gasparovich and Youngstrom combined for 27. Then Westwood's Megan Mandanen to Calumet's Lexi Rowe for the Lakers. A little trouble with the dribble, but no problem with the shot. Rattles it in. However, NMU sprinted to a 40-19 halftime advantage. In the third, Houghton Sydney Dillinger needed two tries to put this one in. She had seven points. Lake State played well in the last five minutes, getting some hoops off steals, but NMU still won 73-57. Mackenzie Edwards paced LSSU with 17. Back to Tech for the men's contest against Northwood. Huskies having a rough shooting night, but they worked the ball inside here to Kyle Stankowski. However, Northwood had a 55-39 lead. P.J. Weaver with the steal, and he is going to put this one down with some semblance of authority. And the lead is back to 19. Blizzard T. Husky and the band trying to get the Huskies back in this one. Brian Heath. Good for three, but Northwood gets the victory 73 to 63. Back to the Barry Event Center, Lake Superior State coach Steve Hedinga saw his team start slowly against the Wildcats. First half action. Kenny Williams, Nava Eccles ahead. The Donnell Seegers up and in for two of his 20. 21 14 Wildcats more than eight minutes into the first half. For the Lakers, Jake Blake, Jordan Dasuki for two of his 15. Back the other way, it'll be Seegers, Marcus Hall using the Kenny, using a screen I should say, knocks down the J, Hall had 14 points, the other baskets were on three pointers. Lake State takes the lead here, Akemji Williams to Josh Goldschmidt, 27-25 Lakers. Williams had 24 points, eight assists, four rebounds and four steals. Lakers slowly pull away to win 83 to 74. In high school basketball, undefeated Nagani at Marquette. Brad Nelson trying to get some offense out of his team. And in the second quarter, Alex Duval answers the call with the basket. But at the other end, Dre Tuminen will slalom, giant slalom, and ski his way around the defense for two. Nagani led 27-14 at the half. Yeah, Nagani coach Dan Waterman can't believe it either. Third quarter, no for Tuminen. Jay Laurie needs two tries to put it up and in, padding those offensive rebound statistics again, I see. Then Tuminen to Ben Luke, outside to Dylan Tassin. He gets that one to go. Marquette cut the deficit the three in the fourth quarter. They head trailed by 17, but Nagani made enough free throws to win. 49 to 39, that's Luke Papp with the hoop there. On the boys' scoreboard, Houghton in overtime gets past Kingsford 61-57. Carson Wonders with 24. Iron Mountain cruises past West Iron County. In overtime, Westwood gets past Norway 54-46. We did not hear from Big Bay to knock at Stevenson. Bessmer, a bucket better than Bayfield 70-68. And Mercer 73, Ironwood 58. Girls basketball, Marquette and Houghton in a battle of teams that have put together a pretty good rivalry, even though it's a non-conference affair. Therese Leedy with the hoop, 15 points and nine rebounds. For the Gremlins, Madison Dillinger, the Sloan Zenner, and she zips that one in from the outside. Gremlins back in front, 27-25.
Ben, ben Smith trying to get his team to get back in the lead. Adriana Johnson to Mole Miller. Mole gets control, and she needs two tries to put that one in. We're tied at 27. A ton of Reinen and three-pointer coming up here for the Gremlins, but Marquette would be your winner, 42 to 37. On the board, a busy board. Congratulations to Newberry winning the conference title over St. Ignace 54-50. Bridget Stetzer had 20 points for the Indians. Parker for Harris 55, Carney Nato 35, Ishba being 9 better than Escanaba, while Bino gets past Menominee 46 40, Norway 53, Gwyn 37, Calumet 65, West Aaron County 37, Lakeland and Humble 44, Dollar Bay 37. Okay, that pattern ends. Odd Tanagan gets 21 from Lori Wardinsky over Bessemer 57 31. Jeffers and Wakefield Marinesco both win with 69 points. Chassel 55, Waters meet 37, Ironwood 14 better than Mercer. Forest Park 60, North Dickinson 34, North Central a 10 point winner at home, Downing Rapid River. In the low scoring contest, Big Bay to knock 9 better than Mid Peninsula, Detour 35, Brimley 30. It was Cedarville over Pickford 45 36, Sheboygan 50, Rudyard 31. Big Ten basketball, Michigan State men over Wisconsin, 69-57. Denzel Valentine with 27 points, 10 assists, and 7 boards. And the women, a road win at Rutgers, 70-67. Ariel Powers, 27-14. Forest Park's Lexi Gussert, 8 points off the bench. Hockey, ever so quickly, Holton and Marquette. As you can guess, it was senior night for the Gremlins. And there would be lots of defense in this one as well. Jacob Cruz, doink, off the post. Travis Cameron able to fall on it. And why would that be big? Because Marquette scored once in the second, once in the third, and won by the score of 2-1. Two, two, and don't forget, all kinds of information is available on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com. The Red Wings lose to Pittsburgh tonight 6-3. All right, thanks, Mike.